All right, thank you for staying with us. And uh, um, some more highlights for you from uh, proceedings today, uh, one of the quarterfinal games of the Channels National Kids Cup. But we've made a change now, and uh, we have uh, Dumna Dio Konta joining us on Sports Tonight. Said Abbas is also here. Dumna Dio has had a very, very long day. Dumna Dio, congratulations, first of all. Uh, Lagos preliminaries are over. Over 30 schools, you've picked the two that we want for the national finals. I'm sure you are relieved. Very, very relieved. At least the easiest, the easiest work has been done. The hardest part of the job has been done. The easiest part. The easiest part. <laughs> All right. So we are waiting for the hard part <laughs> when the national finals get underway. Said, good to have you as well on uh, Sports Tonight. Yeah, it's a pleasure being here once again. Mm. Gentlemen, let's run very quickly. Um, this weekend is a very, very busy weekend for Nigerian football. Let me just quickly run through for you. Um, All Africa Games qualifier. Um, qualifier for the All Africa Games for the men. Uh, Nigeria will be playing Zambia in Abuja uh, this weekend. Something Sassi and the boys have prepared well, and uh, they're looking confident. You win this game over two legs, yeah. you qualify uh, yeah. for the All Africa Games. So we wish Something Sassi and his boys uh, the best of luck with the game in Abuja. Uh, we hope they score plenty of goals to make the second leg a mere formality. The women are also going to be playing in Bamako. The Falcons are up against uh, Mali. Uh, this should be a stool in the park for the Nigerians who are going to the World Cup. And they are so confident. Coach uh, e um, Edwin Okon has named a very strong squad uh, for this game. And hopefully they should be able to go to Mali and get the results. That will also make the second leg a mere formality. Let's come to Senegal now. Let's take you to Senegal. And uh, it's the big, big um, weekend for football at the under-20 level. And uh, that's because we are going to be playing the finals of the CAF Under-20 Championship. We already have the four teams going to represent Africa at the World Cup. Nigeria versus Senegal in the final repeat of the opening game. Nigeria won 3-1. Third place is Ghana against Mali. Repeat of the last group game in Group B. All right? So that's uh, uh, the setting uh, for this uh, uh, weekend. Let's quickly go to Bamako. I beg your pardon, to Dakar now, Senegal. The assistant coach of the Flying Eagles is online to us. Onduka Ogbade joins us on Sports Tonight. Uh, Onduka, thank you for joining us um, on Sports Tonight uh, this Friday. And congratulations once again. World Cup ticket in the bag. Tomorrow you could be handing the trophy to the kitty. Yes, I, 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 I very much believe so. Yes, I very much believe so. And I, I hope that uh, come Sunday... Surely, surely, we are going to be winning the, the Cup of Nations against Senegal. Onduka, you know, there's something tricky about playing a team two times in the competition. Uh, you win the first game, the second game will be a lot more difficult for you. Are you factoring all of that in, playing against the host in the final of the tournament? Yeah, this, this is a very, very... Uh, it's, it's not strange, actually, to tell you. The, the truth here is that... Uh, we know that the match is surely going to be very difficult and highly competitive. You understand me? Like we said against uh, uh, Ghana, we will try and try to control the game technically and tactically control the outcome as well. Uh, if K is not taking against Senegal, we know they are going to come all out because now they've qualified for the World Cup and they're not playing for any other thing except for the trophy. Uh, if K is not taking the goals might be more than what happened in the first, uh, first match. So we could be beating them by a heavier margin. Unduka. <laughs> <laughs> like like four nil. So, so, so sober hearing that. Honestly speaking, there, there is possibility of this. There is possibility of this. Uh, but this is not to say that I'm counting our eggs before they are hashed. Mm. But the truth is that we will control the game technically and tactically control the outcome as well. But uh, look, before I allow you to go, because um, I was told that you guys are, are, are trying to rest to prepare for your final training tomorrow before the game on Sunday. Um, what, what are you telling the boys? What's the pressure like on the boys? Everybody in Nigeria is expecting that these boys can even go all the way to win the World Cup. But we say let's take it one game at a time. What is the message to the boys? What is the state of the, of the, player, of the team now? What about injury worries to some of the players? What are we expecting on Sunday? And the, 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 there is no uh, major injury to the team. It is just minor knock, and you know the stress of.
playing uh, five, uh, four games in uh, just less than uh, 12 days, you understand me, which takes a heavy toll on the, on the body. But uh, we'll be resting as well. And again, too, the game is more of a psychological game than being physical because physical already is going to be very mm. hard. We're going to spend a lot of strength, a lot of energy, and we're going to need a lot of endurance. But this endurance is going to be controlled by our emotion. You understand me? So that we don't run contrary to what we believe that can happen for the match. And we don't overwork ourselves being too anxious. You understand me? In making gains and forgetting to defend very, very well. So this is why I told you that psychologically we're trying to build the boys to be better than what they had against Ghana and at what they stay just the same like Ghana. But Senegal is not going to be a, a team that will be majorly offensive against us. They will come with every other thing, then we will curtail them and give what we want to them. They will take it. Mm. Well, Onduka, we already have a World Cup ticket in the bag. Winning the trophy on Sunday will be a bonus. But what have you seen from this team that you believe can be corrected or strengthened? Uh, because the World Cup is just a few weeks away. We don't have too much time. What areas of this, teams have, of this team have you seen that you're going to be working on to get this team in tip-top shape for the world? Uh, okay, well, you use the word for the world. The, the issue here is that this team is just 50% of its strength for the moment. And then, you know, you cannot correct any, anything when you are playing just in about two days, the finals of a major competition like the, the CAF Under-20 uh, World Cup qualifiers, which is called the Cup of Nations. You understand me? What we're just going to do is to cut, try, you know, to correct some of the little, little uh, errors. You understand me? So that mm. it don't become major. Then when we finish the competition, by the time we're going to New Zealand, or by the time we get to New Zealand, which we have two months, because the competition is starting on the third year. Uh, Ibito, I can promise Nigerians that we will be at least 80% getting into the competition, then the remaining 20% will be gotten, because that will be much more of a psychological thing after playing our first match. Because if we win here, by the draws, we will be playing Brazil. Mm. Maybe four. You understand? Because we we'll fall into that group. Mm. So the issue is that we must be physically prepared and technically astute, then sure, tactically, to control every match. So that uh, technically we can control all our matches, then tactically win the competition too in New Zealand, if possible. Mm. But don't let us count our heads before they are harsh. Mm. But we are confident that we will perform very, very well. We are going to be highly competitive. This is just true. Mm. Well, Unduka, we must uh, say a very big thank you to you for speaking to us at very short notice in spite of your very busy schedule. We wish you the best of luck. And you guys, go out there. Nigerians are behind you. We are praying for you. Go and win the trophy for Nigeria for the seventh time. Seventh heaven for the Flying Eagles. Thank you so much. I'm very, very grateful. And I thank a lot of Nigerians for all the support that they've been giving to, to us and also yourself. Thank you so much. Well, that's uh, Unduka Ogbade, assistant coach of the Flying Eagles, speaking to us live and direct uh, from Dakar, Senegal, optimistic that the Flying Eagles will do the job on Sunday. Dumnodi, the Flying Eagles could do the job for us. Let's talk about the Cup Champions League. Cano Pillars, um, at the beginning of the season, you were so, so sure of Cano Pillars. Christian Obiozo's uh, transfer saga. Looks like it has unsettled Kano Pilat a little bit because he is not traveling with the team. He didn't travel with the team to Morocco. And this is one of the guys we are banking on to get the goals. Gambo Mohamed is injured. No Christian Obiozo. Are you reading any, uh, uh, can you see any red lights, any alarm lights? Well, I, I don't see any al alarm lights. Uh, my only fear is um, how they can contain the Moroccans. That's my fear. Um, the exit of... Um, um, Obiozo and the, the injury to Gombo Mohamed, I don't think that would be much of a worry because before Obiozo came, Kano Pilas was still, was still playing. Last season, Gombo Mohamed was not that top scorer. Somebody has scored 14 goals for, for Kano Pilas last season and it's a starting Adam Waxan. Mm. He can come up and get the, goals, get the job done. And besides, Kano Pilas can come from the midfield because they are, they are midfield maestro. 
um, Abi Ali, she scores goals, and then um, Ubonge Pai has not really hit his form at um, mm. Canipula. Mm. At Kakwa United, it's, um, it's more or less like a war horse. But suddenly, he moved to, when he moved to um, um, Canipula, the different setting, the different environment. Setting, but this is an opportunity for him to show himself. So I, I don't think Canipula will want to worry um, over, we want to cry over the um, exit of Obiozo. But the truth of the matter, can they contain the Moroccans in this mm. first leg? Second leg, I have no doubt. My fear is, how do you contain these Moroccans from the first leg? Mm. If, they can, if they can get a good result in Morocco, in Tetuan, I can guarantee that Canipula look good for the good phase. Mm. All right, so the fixture for this weekend is uh, Tetuan of Morocco against Canopilas of Nigeria. Uh, that's it on your screen. It's the first round fixture, first leg, and we wish Canopilas the best of luck um, in that game. Do not very quickly. Let's talk uh, Glow Premier League now. With three matches to be played um, this weekend, uh, a lot of interesting matchups. Of course, Steelers um, visiting Nibadon against 3 SC was supposed to be one of the star games. It's not going to happen. The reason is obvious. Uh, Pillars are busy. Dumnadi, Enyimba against Bayesa United, Esse Taraba against Lobi, Sharks against Aqua United, Gabros Rangers, that's a massive game on Sunday in Nenewe, Giwa against Sunshine Stars, El Kanemi against Abia Warriors, uh, Wiki Torres against Quara United, massive battle of two newly promoted sides are some of the fixtures that we um, are looking forward to seeing this weekend. Yes, um, Ayimba against Bayesa United, the game Atlant against, against Atlanta Atlanta United, United. One of the game Dolphins, Warriors have been put, have been postponed. Um, TBSD, Calipulas, you just mentioned, has also been postponed. So, um, um, the game between Gabos and Rangers will be a big test for Rangers. Um, the last, I think, when was the last time Rangers played a league game in that particular place? I remember, I think it was... No, no, when Gabos was still... Uh, no, when Rangers played there. Yeah. In that was, that was a starting game that wasn't, wasn't a good story. Mm. Wasn't a good story. The Rangers were this first episode. Of 2008, 2009. I mm. think uh, that I think that was the last, almost the last time. But they'll be going there to train, then do um, add some camping um, exercises. But I hope Rangers will want to show them, show that they are the true spirit of the East. Uh, even though Gabros um, seems to be um, the dark horses this season in the league. 